This is the HyperX Alloy Origins 60% keyboard. It is a very small keyboard that it uses the HyperX red switches, which are a very smooth press down click. And I have removed a few of the keys here, to get a better look at what the switches look like. They got the little lighting at the top of them and they got the switch here in the middle. One thing to note is these are not a hot, this is not a hot swappable switch keyboard, meaning you are not able to swap these for, say you like the blue switches that have a loud click to them, you are not able to do that. With the keyboard, it came with two additional replacement keycaps, one for the escape key, which is now just their logo, and one for the space bar, which has a nice little ripple design. I enjoyed them more than just these, so I swapped them out. So one thing about a 60% keyboard, if you're not used to it, is it's got a few things you gotta remember. Most of these keys have dual functions. They have the number and they have the function key. The way you would access the second key is by going to this function down here. There's only one function key on the keyboard is on the far right bottom. There is no function key on the left, which might take some getting used to. But to access the F1, you'll press function, you'll hold it down, and then you press that. And that goes for any of these keys that have a second symbol on the bottom of them. So like V through the right caret, all of these are media keys, and you'll just use that. A few other ones is you can lower the brightness of the keyboard, raise it with this one. I've removed that key, but I, I just know what it is. Many other ones on here. They just take some getting used to. The keyboard itself, it came with a braided cable. It's a Type-C to USB, so you'll use a USB on your computer, and the Type-C will plug into the keyboard. It is a very strong keyboard. It's got two different levels of heightness you can raise. It's got the first kickstands, and you got the second kickstands if you like typing at a higher angle. But this is a very sturdy keyboard. The back is metal and it has virtually no bend to it, even when I'm trying to bend it. So it can handle it. So it's a very sturdy keyboard that will not break easily. I'll do a quick typing test. If you buy the one with the red switches, this is what it will sound like. 